You don't know Jim Haynes? How is it possible? Everybody just wants to be Jim when they grow up. I'm just so glad you're making a documentary because he deserves it. He was one of the founders of the Fringe Festival. His reputation came before him. And of the Book Festival. He started many amazing things, especially the Travis Theatre in Edinburgh. He is my rock. Some kind of protection. Everybody at the Arts Lab just became knowable. First ever paperback bookshop. He's somebody that you don't forget. You know, once you start scratching the surface with him and some names start to come out. You could say John Lennon and Indira Gandhi. Oh my God, in Edinburgh giving you a free cup of coffee. A happy compass. He had a motor car. Nobody owned a motor car, do you understand that? I used to hang out with Samuel Beckett. Like, what? Jesus, he's never mentioned that before. Never. Never misses an end with us. <laughs> this year was going to be 60th year. Is that kind of three? A godfather. Is joie de vivre. It's incredibly positive attitude to life. He believes things can happen. All you have to do is have the confidence to try. You could just pick up and go and live somewhere else. He's just a bon viveur. You know, he loves life. Jim is like a social butterfly. People call him the inventor of the social networks. He was networking before the world had woken up to what it meant. I've never seen Jim alone. Oh, I've met millions of people through Jim. Thousands through Jim. A couple of hundred people, yes. <laughs> Get on a train with him. Go to a restaurant with Jim. You don't know anybody in the train. By the end of the meet, he knows all about all the waiters. You get out of the train. He knows everybody. I don't go to the Eiffel Tower. Forget about the Eiffel Tower. I don't go to the Notre Dame. Forget about the Louvre. I go for lunch with Jim. Meet Jim Haynes. Why do you call it? Surprising. Coincidental. Serendipitous. A gift. His dinner parties on Sunday are world famous. Google things to do in Paris as a solo traveler. In one of the lists, like Paris, Jim Haynes. People have got married, haven't they, from meeting at those dinners. A baby. So I became a regular. I became alcoholic. He never forgets anyone's name. Sense of humor is very extraordinary. <laughs> His moustache. His love of people. It's like walking with Jesus through Nazareth or something. And I am definitely not talking about the Bible. Of the sea parts. Jim's life story. And if you're lucky enough, he might even sign it for you. I want you to make a great film. I want to be in your film. It doesn't sound like anybody else. It can only be Jim Haynes. Hi, Jim. How's life in Istanbul these days?